There you are, and here I am, finally, face to face. Yeah, nice meeting you too. It's okay, you can trust me. You know who I am, don't you? You're lying, old man. All I know is I have to kill you to restore peace and survive this madness, and that is exactly what I am gonna do. You can influence your future and become a master overall. I must teach you some of the more, let us say, subtle arts which you can use. Why don't you just put a bullet in the back of my head? Come on, then! Battle was animated by JJ Swift and Nimation or JJ Swift Productions. I'll leave a link in the description below. Please go to his channel and subscribe. And thank you. When it comes to fights that you will not stop biting my rear about doing a rematch with more forms or with no paper or with different situations, this one definitely is the one that sits on top. SpongeBob SquarePants, a bikini bottom, and Sonic the Hedgehog, protector of the forest animals. Now, this special rematch will have special rules. Alright then, so let's go over them. One, the paper will be included. I am not removing the paper. Number two, Archie Sonic, Dark Spine Sonic, Hyper Sonic, and Werehog Sonic will all be included for this fight. Three, I will include all games, movies, comics, shows for both Spongebob and Sonic. Okay, the rules are clear. Alright then, I'm Budger Samurai and I'm here to look into these two and their sets of skills and find out who'd win in a versus. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to say a word that brings fear into almost all of Sonic's opponents in any versus show, and that word is Archie. Archie Comics is an American comic book publisher known for publishing original comic adaptations of Sonic the Hedgehog's television series, Knuckles the Echidna, Sonic X, and the original title called Sonic Universe. All the comics are officially sponsored by Sega and are ongoing. However, they are not canon to the Sonic storyline, but for this fight, I'm gonna use it anyway. Currently, Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Universe are still running, but Knuckles the Echidna and Sonic X have ended. But before we cover that, let's cover some other forms that Sonic has. Hyper Sonic. The Super Emeralds are a set of seven different emeralds in the Sonic series. They are transformed from the Chaos Emeralds with the help of the Master Emerald, and are basically an enhanced version of the Chaos Emeralds. With an upgrade, Emeralds... Sonic's super form goes to Hyper, Hyper Sonic. Hyper Sonic looks very similar to Super Sonic, sharing the same body proportions and upturned head spikes. However, Hyper Sonic flashes in all seven colors of the Super Emeralds and has large flashing sparks around him, that sort of like the invincibility item. Also, when he moves, he leaves several after images. This form is significantly superior to Super Sonic. It is far more durable, far faster, and far more powerful and it can also breathe underwater. It also gives him a new move, Hyper Flash, which is basically like the Spin Dash, except in his Hyper form at a much more powerful rate. Now, let's get on to the next one. The World Rings are a set of seven magical rings that appear in Sonic and the Secret Rings. Similar to the Chaos Emeralds, they can be used to use a transformation Dark Spine Sonic. Sonic uses the World Rings of World World Rings of Rage, Hatred, and Sadness to transform. In this form, Sonic is slightly more sinister and violent due to the influence of the World Rings' sealed feelings. In his Dark Spine form, Sonic has defeated al -al -al I don't know how to pronounce that. Here's a text of it. But yeah, this guy is extremely powerful. He, is, he could possibly put, be put at a Universal Buster. This doesn't make Dark Spine Sonic universal, it just means that he can fight with people who are universal. Now, as Dark Spine, Sonic is also granted pyrokinetic abilities, allowing him to cre create and control fire. 
Dr. Bunk can create and concentrate flames in his hands and feet to amplify the destructive force behind his attack and to form his highly powerful burst of flame. Dark Spine is also able to perform time break and speed break without relying on any magical shower rings and can generate the soul he needs for these moves. However, these weaknesses, these forms have weaknesses. Hypersonic is the same as supersonic. It lasts, it lasts a short amount of time, and heck, it actually lasts a shorter amount of time than supersonic. Dark Spine Sonic, this form is more violent than his other forms. In return, though, he does not burn through the rings to maintain this form. Okay, now that we have the, that done, let's get to this Archie, this beloved Archie character. Sonic Morris Hedgehog, yes, his middle name. Born the day 126, 3220. He is the main protagonist of the Sonic and Hedgehog comic book series and its spin-off publisher by Archie Comics. He is Mobin Hedgehog and Dude with the power of super speed and the ability to control the Chaos Emerald. Son of Jules and Ber Berdant Hedgehog, renowned as a hero of Mobius and the chosen hero of the multiverse, Sonic is the strongest and primary agent of the Team Fighters and has since early childhood opposed the global and tyrannical rule of Dr. Ivo Robotnik, and after his alternate universe counterpart, Dr. Eggman, to reclaim freedom of his planet. Okay, so he's a comic book now, instead of the game. What's the difference? Basically the same thing, right? <laughs> Wrong. This character may look exactly like a, the canonical character that we know, however, if you look closely, Sonic the Hedgehog in the comic book series is more, more notably stronger. Sonic's most notable ability is his super speed. We're talking about speed faster than light. He, Sonic once moves so fast, the time itself stops. To explain this, it just means that he was moving exactly the speed of light. So, this means that he can run at least the speed of light, but that is nowhere his top speed. It was stated that Sonic can run one third faster than the light of a regular bowl. It's also stated that he can move double the speed of light. He was so fast that he, when he was running, Metal Sonic damaged his legs trying to keep up with him. He defeated his own shadow and was also stated that he was doing this by moving faster than the speed of light. So yeah, Sonic's pretty fast. He is definitely faster than light. But let's talk about his fastest feat. In the comic book Night of 1000 Sonic, Sonic needed help with all the Sonics in the other universes from alternate reality so they could save the multiverse. Sonic ran through hundreds of universes, stopping in each one and calling the help of the Sonic U Sonic from that universe. The diameter observed of a universe is about 28.5 gigaparsecs. Light would take 93 billion years to cross it. However, the entire universe can be hundreds or even thousands of times larger. A multiverse should theoretically contain thousands of universes. Sonic did this in a very short amount of time. However, speed is not his only weapon. By using his speed, he countered a black hole generator that could absorb a star system, several stars, in his base form. He also survived the explosion and was only knocked out by it. He also survived attacks from an evil supersonic. And keep in mind, this was his only his base form. This version of Sonic is also confirmed to be Sonic Prime, one of the true Boo Sonic of the mul entire multi-universe. After being exposed to too much chaos energy, he became embodiment of the chaos, which makes him totally unpredictable. Take that, Discord. Sonic is a chaos being with the ability to manipulate chaos energy when tapping into the chaos force. Archie Sonic is granted extreme 
extremely amplified chaos abilities, more powerful than they would normally be, and a wide array of chaos powers not available to other chaos beings without direct access to chaos force. But if you already think she's more broken than pre-crisis Superman, then you better get ready because we got the Archie Supersonic. Sonic can turn supersonic by collecting the seven Chaos Emeralds, then going collecting 50 rings in this form, he gains the ability to fly, and everything shown by, about Archie until now is increased significantly. He is stronger, faster, and more durable than the regular Sonic. Sonic can turn supersonic, and when he is in this form, this, his speed was said to be incalculable. Sonic is also very durable and has survived hits from Hyper Knuckles, who should just be around as powerful as him, maybe a little weaker, maybe a little stronger, it's somewhat debatable. He is highly resistant to multi-universal level magic, and speaking about that, he almost destroyed, he, he destroyed a universe by fighting with Hyper Knuckles. Ha! He actually destroyed it, Goku embarrassed. Supersonic is also the Supersonic also easily defeated Andrak Avatar, who had the power to destroy a, a multi universe. He also is stated to be totally invulnerable in this form. Sonic possesses a direct link to the Chaos Force, allowing him to manipulate Chaos Energy in this form. He can use golden energy barriers, project energy blasts, and surges with enough to blow up an entire moon. He performed chaos control, allowing him to manipulate stuff in the universe. He also possesses an aura of chaos energy that helps him overwhelm beings powered by negative energy. And if you think that's too much, well, you better get out of the room now, because there's still Ultrasonic to cover. Ultrasonic is a transformation that appears in the Sonic the Hedgehog comic book series published by the Yoshi Comics. It is a super form that Sonic the Hedgehog only attains through massive amounts of power, namely a huge cache of power rings created by Nate Morgan at the same time finding the Super Emblem. Ultrasonic is supposedly even more powerful than Supersonic and has even better invulnerability. I mean, however that works, I mean, not sure how you could get more invulnerable, maybe getting invulnerable to reality warping. Ultrasonic also has the ability of transmutation. Basically, he can do stuff like turn air into water. No. Ultrasonic also has the ability to control local atoms, allowing him to manipulate matter and change its atomic structure. Ultrasonic has been shown to adapt in his environment. Like, when he was in a snow environment, he became Polar Sonic, who was able to run in the snow. Echo Sonic, who's better running in the forest, Solar Sonic, who's better running in the desert. So no matter where it takes place, Ultra Sonic will quickly adapt so that he can use the environment to his advantages. However, believe it or not, this overpowered and overwanked character has its weaknesses. Sonic is cocky and arrogant, often holding back and only ever going all out when the situation is very bleak and is absolutely necessary. Sonic is not one to speed blitz somebody, he's not going to just instantly right off the bat try and murder his character, he's going to slow down to fight them, and also, he's not really going to go all out. He tends to make up plans as he goes along, his transformation has time limits, and he has the worst enemies in history. Sonic, uh, Archie Sonic though, is still way superior to his canon version, Speed is absurd, he has incredible durability and attack power, his transformations are broken, but he does have weaknesses. But is it enough to defeat the Undersea Sponge? He is pretty tough, but let's go over his opponent. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea, SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants is the main protagonist. It's of the lovely show Spongebob Squarepants. He lives in Bikini Bottom. He's a clueless, abnormal, immature, fun-loving, hyperactive, happy-go-lucky 
character and his personality is of extreme happiness. He's extremely determined and will often stop at absolutely nothing in order to complete his task. Now, going over Spongebob, Spongebob is a boneless and has a soft body, which allows him low-level shape-shifting. He can turn himself into different uh, things like a cannon, and he also can quickly regenerate his body parts because he's a sponge. He, like one episode, he started ripping off his own arms and growing them right off the bat. He does this like a normal sponge, except at an extremely faster rate. And he can also grow back really any part of his body. Like one time he got shaved completely down to his brain, and then he was fine the next episode. Spongebob is also absorbent. Like any sponge, he can absorb water and other liquids and grow bigger. And then throw the water into something with great velocity. He's thrown it with enough force to destroy through wood. Which is pretty powerful. He also can absorb damages, which makes him really hard to damage in the first place. He can be punched, chopped into bits, turned to dust, and many other things, and be absolutely fine. Physically hurting him is basically impossible to do. He also wields a weapon called Spat. Sp a spatula that can be used as a sword. He's used it to defeat a pirate in one-on-one -on -one combat, and it's pretty durable. Though it's not indestructible, Spat once broke when Spongebob tried to flip the monster Krabby Patty, which is a Krabby Patty about the size of Spongebob. Spat is a hydraulic spatula with a port starboard attachment and a turbo drive and has two other spatulas attached to either side of it and can be used as a helicopter. Dang, that's pretty cool. And just a little detail, Spat is somehow alive and sentient. It can function on its own without Spongebob holding it and it's never really explained but hey, it's Spongebob, what do you expect? He also has a jellyfish net, which is strong enough to hold hundreds of jellyfish at the same time. He also, it, he is also good at Survivor, a scene in the episode to save a squirrel. W one of SpongeBob's two force abilities is able to blow bubbles in different formats and can use them. Like one time he blew up a elephant, it blew up and made an elephant sound. And another time he blew up a living sentient person called Bubble Buddy. He is also a good karate fighter. He really mixes it up. He's capable of perfectly chopping through many things, like rocks, trees, and even squillium. He was able to chop through a person. And SpongeBob is also very good at causing accident, destruction, and chaos while driving a boat. He will be perfectly fine a lot thanks to his dumb luck and tune force, but everyone else better run away, because he causes some damage. He can also use his Toon Force to create things out of sand and make it actually work. He can make fire, teleport, and defy logic in really any manner he wants to. Alright, going over his uh, power level and his strongest weapons. Spongebob has actually survived a nuclear explosion of a pie that was able to destroy all of Bikini Bottom. Molecular Distortion, and during the game Nicktoons Unite Battle for Volcano Island, he was able to take on Maogu, and Maogu was able to destroy at least five universes. Now, no, no, he is not multi-universal, do not say I said that. He was able to defeat a multi-universal level character. This does not make him multi-universal, it just means that he can brawl with those kind of levels of beings and still win. Now, he is at least fast as Patrick, and Patrick ran back to the sun and back in a few seconds. Though, let's go over one of his better feats. He outran the Atlanteans, who's crossed billions of light years in a million years. Doing the math, this puts Spongebob massively faster than light. If I underball it, it is at least more than a thousand times the speed of light. Spongebob is also capable of do doing the Goofy Goober song. It's a, it starts a weird video clip and it gives him a laser guitar able to undo mind control, generate explosions, and he can turn into a planet. 
And plus, it was a very awesome climax, one of the best in cinema. Show some respect. Now, his arsenal has explosive pies capable of destroying Bikini Bottom, Mermaid Man's belt, which can do several different things, but most importantly, it can be a shrink way, a time machine, a magic pencil that can create anything or erase it, a reef blower machine, a powerful vacuum so powerful it can hold and suck in the entire ocean, a pop gun which can trap victims inside an optic ray net, Spot Master, a laser fruit that was m he used for cleaning, but it was able to create molecular distortion and destroy the entire Krusty Krab, a bag of winds which can generate winds, inflatable plants, pants that can allow him to fly, sand and snow which can create even create weapons and even living beings, and last but not least, his most powerful weapon, the magic paper. This paper is overpowered. Whatever he writes on there will happen. Bubble Sea Dolphin confirmed that it could destroy all of reality. And he has two of them. One in his imagination, which he can use just by thinking. And another one, which is a physical paper, which he can use by writing on it. Now, let's get into his transformations. The Quickster Suit, which increases SpongeBob's speed significantly. And SpongeBob could already was already massively faster than light, at least a thousand times. However, it, if he abuses his speed too much, he'll end up getting disintegrated. The Invincible Bubble, which is far more powerful than regular SpongeBob, it can blow up invisible bubble, invincible bubbles, which are powerful enough to hold cannonballs, and it takes a very powerful beam to destroy it. Now, there is a, a lot of attacks that Spongebob has, from Bubble Spin, which shoots a Bubble Wand, Bubble Bash, uh, Spatula Slam, and much more, but they basically are just a bunch of different kind of attacks. Spongebob also, when using the paper, he can be on land, and thanks to Jimmy Neutron's machine, he doesn't need water, meaning drying him out will not kill him anymore. Spongebob... Uh, also uses his karate gloves, which can, in well, cut through many different things. However, this, there are weaknesses for SpongeBob. SpongeBob can be very childish and oblivious. It's not the fact that he's dumb; it's just that he can become oblivious. SpongeBob is actually very smart and very capable of being, being smart. He's often making mistakes and doesn't really like taking things seriously at first, but. He is also very small the size of the kitchen sponge, but thanks to Jimmy Neutron, they fixed this. So, overall, Spongebob is a surprisingly powerful character who can move at massive speeds faster than light, can regenerate from basically anything, shapeshift, can fight with multi-universal busters, transformation, reality warping powers, time travel, dis distortion to molecules create explosions that can destroy an entire city and, pl and plot manipulation. You, When you face him, you better be ready because he will. But even with the games, movies, and comics, paper and pencil, is it enough to take down the legendary Archie Sonic? Well, sitting around won't solve it. Let's. There's only one way to find out. It's Time for a versus rematch.
hours later. Well, that's certainly a way to start a season. Such an epic animation and such an epic fight. Be sure to go to the animator's channel and subscribe to him. JJ Swift Animations or JJ Swift Productions, the link will still be in the description below. Please go to his channel and subscribe. Now, I know that a lot of people are going to be mad with this outcome. They're going to be salty, but at least let me get through my explanation. Let me get through my analysis before you start commenting in that I'm wrong and all that. Alright, so how the heck does Spongebob win this fight even with Archie Sonic? Well, this fight can basically be summed up in most situations with two words. Toon Force. You see, Sonic is stronger and faster and more experienced. But he just can't take down the Toon Force, because Toon Force can basically do what it wants. It can reality warp, it can handle S Sonic's immense speed. Considering that killing Spongebob physically is basically impossible without reality warping powers, Sonic's advantages didn't do much. The problem was, he increased parts, Archie Sonic increased stats, yes, but the ones that didn't really matter. He could be faster, but a few problems is, even with that overwhelming speed advantage, he isn't going to instantly try and speed blitz Spongebob. If anything, he's just going to slow down so Spongebob could actually fight him. Plus, Spongebob is low ball speed is 1000 times the faster than the speed of light. So, it kind of makes it the speed... While not completely useless, it's not something that instantly ends the fight. His cocky attitude as well would severely hurt him. All Spongebob would need to do was use the paper to take down Sonic, and it's not like Sonic could stop it. He doesn't even know what the paper does, and even if he destroyed the one physical that Spongebob has, he can't destroy the one that's inside his imagination. All Spongebob needs to do is manipulate the plot into his own win. He doesn't need to excessively do something like erase Sonic. He just needs to manipulate it into his own win, which Spongebob would do. And Super Sonic may be powerful, but this form doesn't last forever. And it's not like this form changes anything, Spongebob still can't be killed by his means. Well, what if Spongebob was thrown into the sun? Well, few problems with that. One is, would that even kill Spongebob? Thanks to the papers and the game, Spongebob doesn't dry out anymore. He doesn't need water, so it's not like the sun's gonna dry him out, or even really kill him. Spongebob's been turned to ash and turned to nothingness, and he's always come back. Not to mention, we've seen Spongebob characters get sent to the sun before and come back, and Patrick was only set on fire. And with Spongebob's teleportation, thanks to his Toon Force, he could easily get away from the sun. And number two, it's very unlikely that he would do that before Spongebob would beat him. I mean, think about it. Spongebob has tons of ways to kill Sonic through the paper, the pencil, by physically destroying him using the Goofy Goober guitar, or many other stuff. But Sonic only has really one way, and we're not even sure if that works. 
Not to mention, Sonic is not a super smart person who would quickly think of that. It would take him a long while before he'd think of that plan, and it'd be a long time before he would even consider doing it. Both would not resort to the reality warping powers right off the bat. It'd start out as a physical match, which Sonic would be superior. And then Spongebob would realize he'd need to use his reality warping powers first, thus meaning Thanks to Sonic being physically better, that actually was one of the reasons for his end, is it made Spongebob get serious faster, using the reality warping paper, which Sonic cannot beat. Not even Archie Sonic could stand up to it. However, when it comes down to it, it there are some cherry-picked ways that Sonic could win a fight. Like, if I gave them absolute basic gear, so no paper, no pencil, no video games for Spongebob, and then Sonic just got Super Sonic in his games? Well then, I could, I would lean that more in Sonic's favor after a very long fight than Spongebob's. And there are also, if I did Archie Sonic versus just Spongebob without the movies or games, Archie Sonic would win that. You see, it's very cherry-picked, but there are ways anybody could win any match. It's just when it comes down to it, Toon Force is an impossible thing to fight, really, when you don't have Toon Force yourself. Now, Sonic may have a high durability, but he doesn't have Toon Force like Spongebob. He cannot break the laws of reality in his physical forms and stuff. And Sonic's uh, super forms may be powerful, but nothing can put down Spongebob. Nothing he has puts down Spongebob. In the end, the only, he just loses the Toon Force and reality warping powers that Spongebob has. Well, it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog is really representing his franchise now. The winner is Spongebob Squarepants. Uh, again. No more week matches. I'm not revisiting this fight. Next time. On versus. Ah, uh, hello, Henry. Welcome to the wall. Some of the most cunning and notorious criminals are kept here, and now we have the infamous Henry Stick. You're going to be here for a long time. <laughs>